Hello, it's another Creating Happiness in the Studio video. Uh, I'm not sure what day I release these on. Honestly, I will settle down and make them something regular, but it hasn't happened yet and I can't see it happening in the next couple of weeks. But after that, after that, I promise I'll be a new evolved being that can do things on a schedule. Let's see. <laughs> I'm Jan Alsop. I'm an artist in Australia and I make these weekly videos to share what happens in my studio, share my art practice with you and um, just keep in touch. I like to know that you're out there and that you're interested. So thank you very much for watching my videos. So this week I have done some painting. Um, I'm not really going to show you much because I've run out of black paint and I ordered some last week and it still hasn't come through so it's taken over a week to get to me and I'm a little bit annoyed about that. It shouldn't take that long but that's the way it is. So a lot of my paintings need a bit of black added to them at this stage so they've all kind of been at a bit of a standstill. I've um, progress this one more. I've come in with more white and now I need to go back into it with some more colour to tone that white down a little bit. Actually it's not even white, it's a it's a grey but um, lots of fun, lots of expressive brush strokes which I always love but very rarely manage to make myself do. I always end up doing hard edges like on that one. Anyway, we'll see. There's something's happening, something's bubbling away here in the studio. Changes are happening and maybe beautiful brush strokes are part of them. But what I have been doing instead is making oh gosh, how do I do this? Making shapes out of wood. If you've been following my um, Instagram or even here on this Facebook page, you'll see that I've been um, putting them together into compositions and I've got a few ready to start assembling, trying to figure out how to do that and they'll be painted. So I'm actually thinking that I think of them as 3D paintings. So that'll be fun. Trying to figure out how to put them together will be a challenge because they will sort of stack on top of each other and the bits that protrude out the side will need some sort of support under them so that they don't droop or snap off. So as I'm not a skilled carpenter, <laughs> I'm learning fast. Now the other thing I wanted to show you this week too is my palettes. This is what I do before I start a painting or shortly after I start a painting. Um, I'm actually in a round robin exchange of paintings. We each do um, a layer on a painting and then send it on to the next person on the list and sometimes when I get one of those and and the colors there's a few colors from a few different people and none of them match up I um, I do this then too to try and work out what to add to it here's one so what I do is I put the colors that I'm using along the top write their names and then mix Mix all the colours, well not mix all the colours together, mix, mix two colours together and then another two colours and then maybe mix them to tertiary colours as well, mixing three or, or a mix of a mix or something like that to find out what colours I can make with those particular paints before I start so that I eliminate, eliminate surprise basically. Um, if you've got a funny palette, like this is quite a funny palette. This, um, there was a reason for that one. But if you've got, if you've chosen funny colors, um, they can do funny things when you mix them together. So this is my way of avoiding any unhappy surprises. And I've got heaps of them. And I keep them here in the studio. And if I'm starting a painting and uh, it's on a day where you know I just don't know what to do I get out those sift through find one that I like and paint in those colors um, some of them a very limit, limited palette and then others of them I think I've showed you this one but others of them have you know a really diverse palette and lots of colors uh, for me it's it's taken out a lot of the 
anxiety around colour painting. Um, colour's my thing, I love colour, I, I actually think I'm pretty good at mixing colours, but I can be frustrated when a colour doesn't mix the way I expect it to, um, or it doesn't produce what I think it's going to do. So doing these palettes really helps me avoid unwanted surprises. I think I said that before, but anyway, <laughs> time to move on. So that's about all from me here in my studio this week. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, I hope you can share it with your friends. They might find it helpful too and, and subscribe. Um, the more the merrier. If you've got any questions, just post them below and I'll answer them. Or if there's anything you'd like to know that I can put in a future video, let me know. And I hope you have a happy week. Until next week, bye from me.